Before you operate your end rider, here are some of the important operator protection features. These include the traction reverse button and the horn. When you press the traction reverse button, it will reverse the direction of the truck and the truck will move away from you. Pressing this button also disables the traction motor. To reset the traction motor and operate the truck, simply lift the control handle to the full up position. Never press the traction reverse button to change directions under normal operating conditions because overuse will damage truck components. To warn others that you're in the area, press one of the three horn buttons on the unit. One is located on the control handle and two more on the rear grab rail. Now that you're ready to operate your end rider, ensure the battery is connected. Turn the key switch from the off to the on position. The truck will perform a brief self-check and sound the horn when it is ready to be used. The Heister logo will show on the dash display, then the battery discharge indicator will show the battery charge level. The truck is now ready to be operated. The controls needed to operate the truck include the tiller control handle and the rear grab handle. The tiller control handle features a throttle control, lift and lower buttons, a horn button, a reversing switch, and if equipped, branded coast controls. The rear grab bar has lift and lower buttons and a rabbit speed button on either side for faster travel speeds. On the back side, there are two horn buttons, one on each side, and a shift button for additional functionality. Heister Precision Pick allows the operator in order picking applications to control the travel and steering functions of the truck from the ground operating position. This feature improves operator productivity. There are two ways to activate the Precision Pick. If the operator is in the ground operating position, they can rock the coast control actuator back and then forth. This action will activate the system. The second activation method is traditionally used when the operator is in the riding position as shown. Easily accessible Precision Pick Enable buttons allow the operator to activate the system from either side of the truck, thus locking the handle in the brake off or run position. Activation of Precision Pick will lock the handle into the run position. This will allow the truck to coast to the proper position so that the operator can properly load the truck. Activation of Precision Pick will also activate the Proportional Speed Coast Control Actuator, so the operator can control the forward, slowing, and reverse travel of the truck. The operator can now control the truck from a side walking position. They can coast forward, slow the truck, or reverse if they overshoot a pick. To move the truck forward, the operator rocks the proportional coast control actuator button on the side of the handle towards the front of the handle. How much the operator moves the button will determine speed, acceleration, and coast distance. These can be modified via parameters. To slow the truck or travel in the fork's first direction, the operator rocks the proportional coast control actuator in the opposite direction of travel. This is variable control and can be programmed to not allow the truck to travel in fork's first direction. To deactivate the system, the operator can press the fast speed button or push the handle to the brake on position. The truck features four operator performance modes that have different speed and acceleration levels. To change the performance level, touch the icon on the display for a few seconds and the four mode selections will appear. Press on the desired mode number to select. Step onto the platform. Hold on to the rear grab rail and control handle. Make sure both feet are fully located on the platform and not beyond the confines of the truck. The operator platform is designed for only one operator. A wide foot stance helps maintain operator stability and enhances steering control. Cushioned knee pads on the cover provide additional support for easier steering. A scalloped area in the control handle shaft allows the operator's leg to aid in the turn. To operate the truck, Bring the control handle down to the operating position by holding onto the outside corners of the handle. Once in position, begin traveling by rotating the throttle control. To slow, stop, or reverse travel, partially rotate the throttle in the opposite direction. More rotation causes more reaction. Maintain a grip on the rear grab bar as well as the control handle. Travel with forks trailing behind whenever possible. 
Maneuvering is easier with forks trailing. Travel forks first when entering pallets or confined areas or into an elevator. Always look in the direction of travel. When operating the truck as a pedestrian, keep the arm fully extended to the closest side of the control handle to allow room between the truck and the operator. Walk ahead of the truck with your arm slightly pulling the tiller. As you turn, the tiller should follow, but at arm's length. The recommended method for stopping or slowing the truck is plugging. Plugging is moving the directional control in the opposite direction that you are traveling. Plugging brings the truck to a stop before moving it in the opposite direction. Once the truck has stopped, release the speed or direction control to remain stopped. This truck also features neutral braking, which means the traction motor slows the truck. To activate neutral braking, simply release the speed direction control to the neutral position. If more aggressive braking is necessary, you can raise the control handle to the full up position or lower it to the full down position. This applies the parking brake and the truck will stop quickly. This is not the preferred method to stop the truck as it is aggressive and will cause premature wear on the parking brake. If the control handle is released, it will automatically return to the full up position and engage the brake. If the truck will be left unattended for more than a few moments, turn the truck off using the key switch. Trucks equipped with this standard handle have two lift and two lower buttons. To raise the forks, press either lift button. To lower the forks, press either lower button. The lift function will be disabled at 70% battery discharge. When the truck is 70 to 80% discharged, alarm sounds. If this happens, charge the battery as soon as possible. When preparing to dismount the truck, plug the truck to a stop by turning the throttle control in the opposite direction of truck travel. At or about the point where travel has ceased, bring the control handle tiller to the full upright position and the truck will stop. The parking brake will engage. At this point, it is safe to step off the truck. If the truck will be left unattended for more than a few moments, turn the truck off using the key switch.